Hey guys, this is Will Meyer. Um, as you probably know, Netflix adds movies to its library each month. Uh, they've added a bunch in April, and so I'm going to give you guys a few picks for my favorite movies that are on Netflix this April. My name is Kubo. This is my story. First up, Kubo and the Two Strings. This is a movie that came out in the fall of last year. I think it's one of the best animated movies of the past couple of years. This is a stop-motion animation movie about a young boy who goes on a quest to find a magical suit of armor. Uh, he needs it in order to defeat a vengeful spirit from his past. This is a film that features the voice talents of Charlize Theron, Matthew McConaughey, and Ray Fiennes. Uh, it's a film that's a gorgeously animated adventure movie, one that took five years to make. Uh, I think this movie is going to be really entertaining for kids and adults because it's got rich care characters, uh, there's thrilling action set pieces, and it's a movie that really is just about storytelling. It's about uh, how stories give meaning to our lives. So I think it's all around just a really fantastic movie, and I think you should check it out on Netflix if you didn't see it last year. Mama. Mm. Can you do big things from such a small place? Don't think about such things. Why not? You would be disappointed. Next is Queen of Cotway. This is also a film that came out last year. It's a movie that's an inspirational true story about a 10-year-old Ugandan girl who emerged from her hometown to become a world-class chess champion. This is a film that is a Disney movie, so you know exactly what kind of inspiration this is going to be, but it's a film that I think makes really smart choices. The writing is really strong here, and uh, the performances are good too. I think Lupita Nyong'o and David Oyelowo are both really great. Uh, it's a film that I think is just going to make you want to stand up and cheer, even if you're a cynical moviegoer. I cannot see you not enjoying this movie, so check out Queen of Cotway. He's on the list. Yes. Well, let's find him. Stern! 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 It's hard, Stern! Stop the train! He's here! Stop the train! <laughs> Number three, Schindler's List. This is a film that is a harrowing Holocaust drama made by Steven Spielberg. When this movie came out in 1993, it won seven Oscars, including one for Best Picture, and it's currently sitting at number nine on the American Film Institute's list of the 100 greatest American films. This is a movie that really shows us the worst of humanity, but I think also the best. It's a film about Oscar Schindler. He was a German businessman who, during the Holocaust, saw the suffering that the Jewish people were enduring, and he ended up saving more than a thousand of them. This movie believes in the ultimate decency of human beings, and it really just shows us what one motivated person can do, uh, that they can make a difference in the world. So this is a great film. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. What it is, name exactly. There's a man Oh, come on, man. Don't you die on me, Foley! I'm sorry, can we cut? Next is Tropic Thunder. This is a late 2000s R-rated comedy. It's directed by Ben Stiller. This is a biting Hollywood satire about a group of actors who are filming a war movie. They're living the life of luxury, but then their selfish behavior inadvertently causes them to become the characters that they are playing. This is a film that has comedy that is broad. It's all over the place, but I think it's hysterical from start to finish. The surprise here is a fantastic cameo by Tom Cruise where he is ridiculously profane and silly, but the highlight is Robert Downey Jr. in an Oscar-nominated performance as an overly serious actor who actually dons blackface to play an African-American. I don't believe you people. Huh. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? Huh. This movie is outrageous, it's politically incorrect, uh, but I think it's one of the funniest movies of the past decade or so. So if you haven't seen Tropic Thunder, be sure to check it out. I hate Christmas carolers. I warned you, Brad! <laughs> Last is Gremlins. This is a horror comedy that came out back in 1984. It became one of the highest grossing movies of the 1980s. I know I watched this movie a lot as a kid. Um, it's about a father who buys his son a Christmas present. He buys him a furry little creature who turns out not to be all that cute and cuddly. He ends up giving birth to other creatures that are malevolent little monsters. And so this is a film that I loved as a kid. Uh, I think it's a great example of a horror comedy. It's dark, but it's also so entertaining at the same time. Uh, and this movie holds up when you're an adult too. So uh, watch this movie, watch it with your kids as well, older kids I would say, and I think you guys will all enjoy it a lot. 
Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check back here for more reviews. And also you can watch me on Sunday mornings at 7.30 on WBIR. And be sure to go to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Will Meyer, the movie guy. And be sure to like that for more reviews and other movie news.